let us solve some more questions of synchronous basically in synchronous as i continuously say like you know they don't give such a complicated questions okay for example if you take this question this is like you know common data question two marks plus two marks okay actually first question you need not solve but second question you may have to solve see how it is a synchronous motor motor is the keyword here a synchronous motor is connected to an infinite bus at one per unit voltage and draws 0.6 per unit current at UVF. Okay, its synchronous reactance is 1 per unit and the resistance is 0. Negli negligible. Now the excitation voltage E and the load angle delta will be respectively. Okay, some values they have given. Basically, my excitation voltage should it be more than 1 or less than 1? Let us see. Let us draw a small phasor diagram. Okay, in the first case, for example, this is VT okay now something is in line with this vt that is i1 first case okay so if it is i1 i1 excess should be 90 degrees with respect to i1 and vt plus or minus whatever it may be i a excess is going to be f okay now f should lead vt or should lag vt will be decided by whether it is a motor or generator okay so what did he say it's a motor Okay, so motor in the sense compulsorily EF should be lagging behind. So this should be IA1 excess or I1 excess. So this should be EF. Okay, now EF length of EF should be more than VT or not. Yes, if I say VT equal to 1 per unit, length of EF should be more than 1. And it's a motor, so with respect to VT, EF should be lagging by delta. Okay, so see the options. EF 0.8 per unit no wrong because it should be more than 1 0.8 per unit wrong 1.17 it is more than 1 so it can be right answer but 30.96 lead wrong answer because with respect to EF in a motor EF should lag with respect to VT EF compulsorily should lag so 1.17 at 30.96 lag with respect to VT EF should lag problem solved 2 marks okay anyway next question we have to solve okay anyway let me solve first question also just like that okay so in a motor in a motor so this is going to be ef and this is going to be xs this is going to be vt the direction of current is going to be in this direction okay so vt minus drop is going to be ef and ef should be minus delta okay so this is going to be ef at an angle minus delta equal to vt at an angle zero minus minus drop vt minus drop is ef so minus j excess into ia at an angle pi okay he is saying unity power factor so pi will be zero now this is going to be one at an angle zero minus j excess value is going to be one into IA value is going to 0 0.6 per unit at an angle 0. So this is going to be 1 minus J 0 0.6. Okay. Which will come down to 1.166. Okay. So and now at an angle of minus 30.96. Minus 30.96. Okay. Ideally in the question you need not solve this. Okay. So you need not solve this question. Now let us see second question. In the second question, what did he say? See, keeping excitation voltage same. So whatever EF we got in the first question, we are supposed to maintain EF same. The load on the motor is increased such that the motor current increases by 20%. The operating power factor will become. Okay. So what he is saying, EF is going to be same. Now power output is increased such that IA armature current should be increased by 20%. Now forget about calculations and all let us see whether it will become lagging or leading for example we have drawn this right so here what is ef sin delta is going to be this this is going to be power in first case okay now length of ef should be same length of ef should be same but output power is increased so my ef in the second case should be dragged here okay so length of black ef and length of red ef is same okay then delta is going to be increased and uh, output power is going to be increased so ef sin delta is going to be increased 
okay now if sin delta will give you like you know reactive power and if cos delta will give you information about reactive power now if you think of ef cos delta ef delta ef cos delta e is less than vt okay so what is reactive power supplied like you know ef cos delta minus vt into vt by xs okay so ef cos delta is less than vt means that it will absorb sorry it will deliver negative reactive power or it will absorb reactive power now when motor generator motor okay when motor absorb reactive power lagging or leading lagging so answer should be answer should be like you know b should not be there d should not be there in between a and c lag okay because my machine is going to absorb reactive power my machine is a motor motor is going to absorb reactive power means it should operate at lagging so answer should be a and c a r c now let us solve that question okay actually like you know at starting you may feel it is lengthy solution but it is not okay that's why i have taken two questions okay so in this whatever we have done we are going to do the same thing we do the same in the same way like you know from equation wise same equations we are going to get okay now let us see in the second case in the second case what has happened ef is going to be same of the first case so 1.166 okay ef at an angle delta delta 2 equal to vt is going to be same vt minus j axis into ia vt is going to be same minus j axis into how much is ia 20 percent more so 1.2 times into 0.6 at an angle power factor i don't know okay ultimately lagging in the sense this pi should become negative at the end we will say at the end now this is going to be 1 minus j 1.2 into 0.6 is going to be 0.72 at an angle pi now what is j 90 degrees so 90 plus pi okay let me consider 90 plus pi as x so this is going to be 1 minus 0.72 cos x minus j 0.72 sin x what is x x value equal to pi plus 90 you don't get like you know tensed though it look a bit lengthy solution but like you know everything will get cancelled out just wait now if i do squaring on both sides this is going to be 1.166 square equal to 1 minus 0.72 cos x square plus 0.72 sin x square so as i told you don't get tense like you know lengthy but automatically everything will get cancelled out. So this is going to be a square plus b square minus 2 a b plus 0.72 square sin square x no. Okay. So long back we know that sin square theta plus cos square theta equal to 1. Okay. So sin square theta is going to be 1 minus cos square theta. So this is going to be 1 minus cos square x okay now if you observe 0.72 square cos square x 0.72 square cos square x these two will get cancelled this is the logic okay even in the next problem also we are going to develop the same equation in the same way it will be cancelled out so this is going to be 1 minus 0.72 into 2 into cos x plus 0.72 square equal to 1.166 square okay now calculate x okay so that x value is going to be 0 0.1099 okay so cos inverse of x okay so cos x equal to this okay now x value you please calculate cos inverse of that minus 90 is going to be pi okay so that value is going to be 6.31 minus 6.31 degrees or i can say cos pi is nothing but power factor is going to be 0.994 lakh okay so 0.994 or 0.995 lakh is going to be right answer okay now let us see in the same way like you know one more problem that is also voltage problem only see in this problem second problem See, a star connected 440 volts 50 H alternator has perfect synchronous reactance of 10 ohm. 
it supplies balanced capacitive load currents of 20 amperes as shown it is desirable to have zero voltage regulation the load power factor should be okay see here many times means they may not ask you to solve the problem okay for example long back in transformer okay transformer voltage regulation or synchronous voltage regulation voltage regulation is voltage regulation that's it okay so we know that maximum voltage regulation will occur nearer to zero power factor zero voltage regulation will occur nearer to unity power factor okay so zero voltage regulation nearer to power factor is going to be unity leading power factor now out of the options which option is nearer to unity 0.92 will be the answer that's it you need not solve okay but anyway let us try to solve okay so see here what is zero voltage regulation here voltage regulation is nothing but ef magnitude minus vt magnitude divided by vt magnitude into 100 percent now he's saying zero voltage regulation zero voltage regulation means that this will be zero anyway so the other side ef equal to vt okay so whatever may be f same vt should be there so how much is vt here terminal voltage 440 by root 3 okay so 440 by root 3 will give you 254.04 so 440 by root 3 will give you 254.04 volts or 254 volts now let us write the equation ef at an angle delta equal to vt at an angle 0 plus or minus because if i try to write the model for this so this is going to be ef plus delta because ef should lead with respect to vt and this is going to be ia this is going to be xs okay so vt plus drop is going to be ef so plus <coughs> my synchronous reactance only they have given jxs into ia at an angle pi okay now this pi value should i get negative or positive <coughs> i have to get positive why at leading power factors it should be zero voltage regulation should occur at leading power factors nearer to upf we analyzed in transformer okay so if i try to calculate this how much is ef 254 same at an angle delta equal how much will be say a vt same okay at an angle zero plus j x is how much 10 into ia is 20 at an angle pi okay so in this equation you are supposed to calculate pi that's it okay now this is going to be 254 plus j 200 j 200 at an angle pi that is going to be 254 plus 200 at an angle 90 plus pi j 90 now let me consider this 90 plus pi as x okay so this is going to be 254 plus 200 at an angle x so this will give you 254 plus 200 cos x plus j 200 sin x don't get scared here no problem everything will come rather than remembering nonsense equations because if you remember many equations in the exam you will not be able to recollect okay anyway like you know squaring on the both sides 254 square equal to 254 plus 200 cos x square plus 200 sin x square okay so this is going to be 254 square plus 200 square cos square x cos square x will get cancelled at later point of time plus 2 into 254 into 200 into cos x plus 200 square into 1 minus cos square x sin square theta equal to 1 minus cos square theta then what will happen this 200 square cos square x 200 cos square x will get cancelled okay then you are left with cos x 254 square okay so you can calculate x or not yes so if i calculate x here x value is going to be 113 113.18 degrees okay so 90 plus pi is nothing but x 
so how much will be the power factor or uh, power factor angle is going to be 23.2 degrees okay so power factor is going to be cos pi which will be 0.919 leading because pi value we got plus so 0.919 is going to be 0.92 okay so your publications may give so many formulas and all don't remember formulas because as of now <coughs> it will be fine only you feel you remembered but in the exam in that pressure you will not be able to recollect so always stick to the basics we will be able to solve